Hello everyone, it's Doris Colgate with Steve Colgate on the dock with our hashtag Dockside Chats with Steve. This morning Steve wants to tell you a little bit about his early days of teaching sailing in New York City. Yes, we had, I had a, uh, a classroom, uh, office classroom uh, in New York City on 40th Street uh, and we taught during the summertime uh, and so the income came in during the summertime. In the wintertime, I said, well, gee, I gotta, gotta keep this going to pay the rent. So uh, I got a whole bunch of uh, courses. I did one on learn to, learn to sail. Uh, I had an engine maintenance course. I had a navigation course. I had a, a weather course by a weatherman from New York City. And that's, that was the important uh, one in this story because um, I had a, a fellow who took our learn to sail course. His name was Joe, I forget his last name. And Joe um, had bought a catamaran out of Key West and he's an amateur archeologist and he was going to the Yucatan. So he was gonna sail this boat to the Yucatan uh, in, in January, I think it was January, um, and, and do some archeological re research. So that's what he was preparing for. So um, he told me that he was going and I said, well, I, I talked to our, our weather guy and he said, well, if he does that, he's, it's a 90% chance of northerly gales. So I said, Joe, you know, you have a 90% chance of northerly gales uh, if you do this and your course is just north of Cuba. So where do you think you're gonna end up? in Cuba and he said no nah, I'm going anyway so I said Joe then call me up call me up when you when you get back and about three or four months later I get a call from Joe and he said yeah <laughs> I got hit by a gale and near the the, the uh, western tip of Cuba uh, where it's a short hop over to Yucatan um, and I came into a harbor a deserted, empty harbor on that shore of Cuba and anchored for the night. I woke up in the morning with bullets whizzing around and hitting the boat and uh, it turns out it was a, a lone militiaman on the beach with a rifle shooting at him. So he carefully went forward, ducking down and pulled up his anchor uh, had the engine going, got out of there. And that was, that was the story of Joe, <laughs> Joe and his trip to Yucatan. And some people are just gonna do whatever they wanna do. And that, that was, that's really something that you do in sailing too. Thank you.